Hey guys, Ed Budd here and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand side corner so that you can be informed when new videos are launched. One of the most incredible, exciting things that can possibly happen in your life. So half marathon training continues. Another seven miles with that 1.5 warm up and 1.5 warm down. In the middle of all of that, in the midst of those seven miles, four miles at that target half marathon pace, which is six minutes 51. It's kind of ingrained into my mind now. 6.51, I see it everywhere. Everywhere I go to the supermarket, when I turn on the microwave, it's just there in my mind. Really great temperatures in the evenings at the moment. Things are tending to cool off uh, around about half past eight, nine o'clock, and it's a perfect opportunity um, also, at the moment, I'm having to wait until a uh, certain Minecrafter and Roblox playing people are in the land of Nod and they're asleep. And also my wife's come back so that I can actually go out running. So I managed to almost hit that magic pace. I think I was a little bit over 6.55, something like that. But I was almost there. It's starting to become a little bit easier. I'm starting to get it. It's starting to be a reachable thing now where, where I started this training block, in fairness, that was quite a tough ask to get up to that pace. So really, really pleased with the progress I'm making. So there's a couple of steady run days after that, around about seven minutes 30 pace. And so I've been trying to get the miles in where I can. It's been a little bit more difficult with kind of work resuming a normal kind of schedule and also sort of running the gauntlet, childcare and all that kind of stuff. But been trying to get the miles in where I can. Did 12 miles on the next day, uh, around about seven minutes, 45 pace. I managed to hit almost every single one of those. I think it was two miles, I was a couple of seconds out, but who knows with you know these GPS devices that I don't think they're uh, superbly accurate all the time, especially where I'm running with tree cover and all that kind of stuff. So I think I managed to pretty much hit all of those and I felt pretty good after that as well. So 12 miles at 7.45. So I think I can write off those few miles where I was over as GPS issues. I think I was pretty much spot on. Took a rest day on the Monday as I was feeling really fatigued. It was a busy weekend. Lots and lots of activities, keeping people busy, etc. And that 12 miler. So I thought I'd take the rest day and then double up really on the Tuesday so I could get some additional miles in uh, while my legs were still feeling fresh. But of course the best laid plans sometimes don't happen and uh, really not feeling 100% right now in fairness. Got three miles in yesterday morning but really didn't feel good uh, when I when I got home. I uh, think I've got a bit of a head cold or something coming on and all I wanted to do was sleep. So always listening to the body. What does the body tell me? I needed to rest. So I'm gonna have to delay the uh, Tuesday session which was gonna be eight times 500 meter repeats with 200 meters recovery contained within about a seven mile block. So. I'm going to have to try and fit that in at some point today. Need clones, that's what I need. I need a clone that can go out and do all the, uh, do all the menial stuff, you know, the, the, the boring stuff. So if you're watching one of these videos and wondering what on earth I'm training for, well, my target is a sub 1 hour 30 half marathon at the Immortal Sport Half Marathon, which occurs on September the 29th. So this half marathon is predominantly flat, it's a couple of loops, I do believe, which does take in a number of the city of Salisbury's landmarks. It's quite a historic city, really. I think this is the half marathon's fourth year, so it's a relatively new half marathon. But as with all events organized by Immortal Sport, I'm expecting top-notch organization and, of course, a fantastic medal and technical t-shirt for all completers as well. Please do check out the link, I'll throw it up on the screen and I'll also place it into the description so you can go and check it out and perhaps you can enter for yourself. I earmarked this half marathon really, mainly because it's predominantly on road, uh, it's predominantly very flat, there's some long straights as well. I'm thinking this is probably a really good opportunity to try and get to that sub 130 if possible. Hey, you know I'm not getting any, any younger. Got to be thinking about targets, you know, peak race for me. I'm really, really going to give it everything on this half marathon. I think there's almost zero elevation here, so don't really need to contend with hills at all. So it's all about keeping that speed very, very consistent. I'm making sure I try and hit that target half marathon speed as often as I possibly can. Keep it there, see if I can hold it. Even if I can get close to 130, I'll be really, really pleased. If you've got any comments or questions about the Salisbury Half Marathon, please 
Put those in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer those as quickly as I can. Do stay tuned to see how my training comes along over the next few weeks. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Please share this video with other runners and comment below. My name's Ed Bud and I'll be seeing you.